Data fetching on the front end is hard. There are a lot of things to consider, from loading state, errors, retries, deduplicating requests, and caching. Doing all of this from scratch is time-consuming and error-prone. But luckily, there is an amazing package called Tanstack Query that does all of this for us and makes data fetching clean, performant, and easy. Let me show you how it works. Here I have a simple React app that fetches and displays a list of books. Currently, my React app is fetching data from scratch. Let me walk you through this code quickly, then we'll refactor it to use Tanstack Query, and you'll see how much better it is. So here at the top, you can see my state management. Here we're storing our list of books. We need to store a loading state, an error state, and our error message. And if we scroll down to our use effect, this is where our data fetching happens. And this will happen when the component renders. So we need to set our loading state, our error state, and our error message, and then we can initiate our fetch request, which we are giving it three attempts. And it's important to have retries just in case the first couple attempts fail. And then here we use uh, the JavaScript fetch API to get our list of books, throw an error if there's a bad response. And then coming down here, we see that if we have a loading state of true, we'll display a loading spinner. And if we have an error, we'll display the error message. And if we successfully get our data, then we show that list of books. So as you can see here, doing the fetching from scratch, from line 15 down to 42, this is taking up more than 20 lines of code to fetch our data. And this doesn't even include deduplicating of requests, which Tanstack Query does by default. So if another component wanted to use this list of books, we would have to pass it around through props or set up a global state management in order for that other component to get access to the list of books, which would be a lot more work. So as you can see, this is already getting very bloated with our state management and data fetching. So let's refactor this to use Tanstack Query, and you're going to see just how simple it is. The first thing we need to do is install our dependencies. So we're going to install three things. One will be the React Query library. Two will be the ESLint plugin for React Query, which will help surface errors and warnings to us inside of VS Code. And then the third thing will be the React Query dev tools, which can help us debug and in the browser. Now that we have everything installed, let's go ahead and add our ESLint plugin so that we can surface warning messages in VS Code. The next thing we can do is jump over to our main TSX file and wrap our app in the Tanstack query client provider and add in the dev tools. The reason why we need to wrap our app in this query client provider is because this serves as a global state management for our app. So if multiple components request the same data, Tanstack will automatically deduplicate the requests and only send one request to the server and then provide that same data to all components which is an incredible performance optimization. Now that we have Tanstack Query set up, we can move on to refactoring our fetching logic. So back inside of our app file, we can replace all of our state management and our fetching logic with Tanstack. So I'm going to go ahead and just comment these out for the moment. And then we can import use query from Tanstack. And we can let it know that we want to use this book type that we have up above. And that will be 
our server will return an array of books. So we're just helping TypeScript out there. And then inside of the use query, this will take two parameters. So the first one will be the query key. And this is important because any other functions that query by the same key will be deduplicated. And that's the performance optimization I mentioned earlier. And then we can add a query function. Now this needs to return either a promise or an error. So using the JavaScript fetch API, that will return us a promise. And if we get a bad response, we can throw an error. So let's go ahead and add that in. And then if we get a bad response, we'll throw an error. And if we get a good response, we can return the JSON from that response. And response.json, as we can see hovering over, it will return a promise, which is exactly what we want. So then from the use query function, we can destructure some values that we get. So we will get data, which will be our array of books. And then is error is loading and the error message. So now you can see that all of this, these four pieces of state that we previously had here are now all handled by TanStack query, which is pretty awesome. It's bundled into this nice little package. The code is a lot cleaner than what we had before. So I'm gonna fold that back up and Let's take a look down here. We can see that we have an error message around books.map. That's because this is now called data. And TypeScript is gonna let us know this could possibly be undefined. So let's just add the question mark and then click save and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and see if this is working in the browser. Looking at our browser, we can now see that the data fetching is working as expected, which is great. And we have this little button down here in the corner. These are the dev tools. So if I click on this, it pops up a little window and we can see that we have one query that happened, our books query. If we click on this, we get a little bit more information. We can see the data that was in here. So it breaks it down by all the different books and down here, there's even some other information around, was there an error? No, um, number of failed attempts. So a lot of good information in here, and we can even simulate our loading state. So if I trigger loading and then come here, we can see our loading state, which is very handy. And then we can trigger our error. And this is what it looks like if we have an error. So this is fantastic. Everything is working as expected, and this is just the tip of the iceberg with TanStack query. There's so much in here. Um, we get automatic retries by default, at least three retries uh, without having to configure anything. You can configure it to do more. We get caching by default, and the syntax is way simpler than what we had before. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Happy coding and Godspeed.